Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And in my never-ending pursuit for uh, EDC or everyday carry tools, I stumbled on this uh, pocket monkey that is made by Engineer. It's a Japanese tool company. Um, high quality uh, all the way around. Some of the Engineer stuff is, is also sold under Vampire's name for their screw extraction technology. But this is the TWM-08. It's a roughly 100 millimeter adjustable wrench that opens up to almost an inch. I'm getting about 15 sixteenths out of this or about 24 millimeters, uh, which is pretty good. Um, however, it has very thin jaws. You can see how these have been cut down. Um, this is the packaging. It says it has this 2.0 millimeter jaw thickness, uh, 24 millimeters by 16 millimeters for the grabbing there. Um, works on small uh, set nuts. You can see that on, on appliances, etc. Um, and then also they recommend it for like BNC connectors, um, any, any small kind of low torque uh, connectors, as well as uh, stacked nuts. Um, so if you've got things where you're trying to get into the bottom or the middle or um, and you know whatever the larger wrench is, um, is impeding that, could come in handy there. Now a couple of things. This is in the range of these other kind of micro tools. So you can see the Knipex here um, actually is about 100 millimeters. That's what they say. They say this is about 100 millimeters. I think it's a touch longer, uh, maybe 100 without the, uh, cup, without the over mold here on the handle. Um, I think that some of the protection um, for avoiding breaking or bending these these uh, thin jaws is in the small um, size of the handle. It's gonna. I think you could probably generate enough, especially if you went sideways at all, generate enough to snap these. But they should be pretty strong as long as you're rotating in this direction. Um, but it's not designed for you know breaking down doors or something. It's a, just designed as a very handy kind of low torque adjustable wrench that fits all kinds of different sizes. How does it stack up? Well, here's my uh, Knipex. Uh, this, um, this is the micro plier wrench, the smallest plier wrench. When it's fully cammed, you can see the size difference here. So this thing is bigger. Uh, if I open this up, you know, assuming I could get it on something that size, you can see it's still the pocket monkey here still has a little bit more of a grab. Um, the Knipex Cobra, the kind of the micro Cobra, you can see has a bigger grab here. Um, and then this is in its largest position, handle squished. You can see the, the drop. Um, this has been uh, kind of in my on and off EDC pouches. I'm trying to go something smaller and lighter, but this is a little kind of a craftsman professional, sort of a narrow jaw. And I really like it, um, but it is longer. It's a little over six inches, and I'm trying to stay under six inches. Um, also, you can, I've heard on airplanes, go up to seven inches on some things. TSA agents might decide. I don't think they'd have any trouble with this. Um, so for making a small EDC kit, repair kit, uh, that's kind of where I think this lands. Um, it's about 25 bucks on Amazon. Um, and overall... Um, it, it kind of surprised me. It, it does feel pretty good in the hand. You can see, um, you know, that they've got almost a, the cutout here uh, for a good, uh, good placement of your fingers um, in a couple of different positions. Um, you've got two lanyard areas, lanyard holding areas. Notice it's dirty. That happens pretty fast. Whatever this handle material is, it's just grabbing the dirt off my hands as I try it out on on different bolts and nuts and, and situations here. Oh, I was gonna mention, it says it's 2.0 millimeters thick. Um, that's the blade thickness. Um, however, when I compare it to uh, the measurement I get here, this is, I'm getting, here's 2.17. It's actually thicker than that, that 2.0. How does that compare? Okay, so we've got, let's call it 2.2 millimeters thick. Um, on this Knipex plier wrench, the smallest one, we're at 2. Point, actually, it's smaller, 2.5. Um, this is the small Cobra. That's 3.9. So 
So it's a big jump there. And then if you go to the, st the smallest of the, the conventional Cobras, you can see out here we're at 6.3 millimeters. So uh, you're talking about something that's almost three times the thickness of a already fairly thin Knipex co Micro Cobra or Mini Cobra here. Um, this has always been part of uh, EDC kits too. This is a little crescent uh, ranch. I have this, I have the Blue Point. Get the USA made ones if you're interested in these small ones, but they really don't have much of a jaw here. Um, you know, this is, makes a huge difference and often it's the size here, um, not necessarily the torque that you're after is can you grab a hold of something like even a 15 millimeter set uh, or a axle nut on a bike um, or working with brake nuts. Um, you know, I've had this thing just be a little too small. So I was kind of excited about trying it. Finish work is phenomenal, you know, as you would expect from both Japanese tools and engineer. Um, which produces amazing, amazingly good stuff. Um, very affordable, too. Um, these handles, um, I have heard they're hard to clean as well as they, they get dirty, and I've proved that pretty quick. Um, anyway, it's not a hard-use tool. It's a, it's a very handy tool. So that's what this thing's all about. Anyway, put a link below if you're interested in looking at it on Amazon. Um, they show, show it in action in a few different situations but really it does like a lot of a lot of good tools it does fit well in the hand and that makes up for a lot um, whereas something like this not not so much as far as control and as far as uh, applying the leverage so there it is the engineer pocket monkey twm-08 with that doc out